This is my first time using my Granberg mini mill or edging mill uh, as it's now called. Uh, I'm running a still 291 and it's just a small 8 inch diameter uh, piece of poplar log and it sits on this track, slides along that track and the, the bar gets um, uh, tightened down with these two nuts between two blocks and it just so happens that my scrunch for my still uh, fits that. So I have the guide uh, rail mounted to a piece of 2x6 that is centered on uh, some scrap wood that is level at both ends and the idea is I'm going to make this first cut and then rotate the log and then make some real simple live edge slabs. Again, this is my first time. Join me here and let's see what happens. All right, here we go. That doesn't look too bad. This will be my final cut. The idea is I'll end up with two live edge slabs about two and a half inches thick. And if I can, or what I'm planning on doing is using them for a bookshelf or bookshelves. And again, I'm having so much fun. This is my first time milling and it's going pretty well. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You guys should do it. <laughs> Here we go. I ended up with two slabs, about uh, five and a half feet long, roughly six and a half to seven inches uh, deep, two and a half inches thick. Uh, I believe it's popular, so it's not that great of wood. But again, I'm just testing out my, uh, my Granberg edging mill or mini mill, and it seems to be working great. Take a look at this wood. It's really cool. This is awesome. Got myself a couple slabs. I get to play with. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so I have to let this dry and cure a bit before I can uh, really do anything with it. The log's been sitting for maybe a year, two years, firewood, but uh, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna grab my moisture meter and check out the moisture of this. Hang on. So out at the log's end, it's 5.3%, uh, 
which isn't too bad. But watch what it, the reading is in the middle of the log. It's upside down, I know, but that's 27.4%, 27.5% moisture in the center of the log. So that means I have to let this uh, sit and dry or cure for a while. So I saw some videos on YouTube of other folks milling with a chainsaw mill, Alaska chainsaw mills. And I don't have a big chainsaw. I only have the Still 291, which is a 55cc saw. So I picked up the uh, edging mill from Granberg, which used to be their mini mill, and thought I'd give it a shot, you know? Uh, you guys can do the same thing. Just if you want to try something do it watch some videos learn how to do it and just jump right in That's what I did you guys can do it too. Hey peace out and enjoy this next video